Hello, everybody. This is Dr. C ringing in. Hello, team 112. Let's look at what's going on. So what did we do in module one? You know that we had to go through the three components of the criminal justice system, how they function, work together and be surprised. This thing, a lot of it seems like basic information, but so very a lot of people don't really even have any understanding about that. So you are already one step ahead of the curve. Explain the importance of laws and policing in a democratic society. Very, very important, right? It's almost oxymoronic, policing a free society, very difficult job. And what I want to emphasize is that two things. If you read and your reading is sustained, when you get into the resources, make sure you don't skim. Make sure you read because what you're doing when you do that, you will see perhaps words and or phrases and or terms you've never heard of before. They become part of your word bank. Okay, and these words will help you become very articulate. In other words, clear, because in our profession, I'm going to say this 100 times over the next few weeks. In our profession, no matter where it is in the system, I don't care if it's policing, corrections, human services, it doesn't matter. We can never be misunderstood at all, ever. I'm telling you from experience, you, we can't. We have to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth. And we're held to that very high, very noble standard. And the way that happens is if you read and you take, you, you read and that creates the strength of your mind to be able to retrieve the you know accurate uh, terms and or phrases or words you need to apply to describe something, to convince somebody so you can be a great problem solver. So in module one, you did that. You, would, you don't have to read through the module over you here now, but you took your Check your knowledge, a good barometer, right? You the complete the three main components of the CJ system tasks. Read, read, okay? And when you read, make sure you scroll through your uh, electronic text. And you, you completed the graded quiz at the end of the module, which helps you identify any gaps. It's really, again, a good barometer. So that was module one. So what here, what's going on in module two? Scrolling down to mod two. So let's take a look at mod two and what's happening here. All right, learning objectives. Explain how law enforcement communicates and functions, right? Explain the importance of policing in a free society. Very difficult to do, all right? And in mod one, you'll learn about the importance of the rule of law. This week, you'll apply the rule of law to law enforcement. Application is critical. That, that helps you. That helps me understand and see and assess whether or not you're comprehending, okay, the information, which is critical. And I'm here to help you with that. So make sure you take your check your knowledge quiz, okay. Make sure you complete and complete the roles and functions of law enforcement tasks. Again, read. Same thing here. Complete the rule of law and policing tasks. Read, and make sure you participate in the discussion. Let's take a look at the discussion board rubric. Okay, let's take a look. Let's scroll down here. This is what's really critical. Now, these criteria are not, they're not happenstance. These are, these are skill sets. These are skills, let's call them the muscles, right? Uh, the foundation of how well we have to communicate. It really highlights that. We have to be able to comprehend, offer, you know, we have to be able to convince people that something occurred. And we are here to advocate for the victim and our victims in this case here. And so we have to be very clear. We have to be organized. Okay, so it's not a hallway talk, you know, hanging out with friends just talking about a topic. You have to be very clear and convincing and actually try to get in on time. Punctuality, if you're late for court, your case will be dismissed. Engagement provides relevant and meaningful response, meaningful response posed with a clarifying explanation and detail, right? So what does that mean? Be very careful of just kind of writing from the hip. Your writing, your mechanics are critical. We have uh, some people in the in the profession who will back me up on this 100%, that you know a grammatical error in your report can result in a not guilty. Okay, and I'm not saying we're, look, we're fighting for guilty per se, but you know, a, a grammatical error can send your case somewhat sideways, all right? It creates, it can create some doubt. Not trying to be melodramatic, but these are the things you need to pay attention to as you're composing and creating a good, strong, and articulate, coherent discussion board post. Complete the graded quiz and then review the module three assignment, which directly supports project one. I am here to help everyone, so please do not hesitate to call me um, for career guidance or any explanations you need about the expectations, all those things. I'm here to support, here to help, 
everyone have a wonderful week. I'll see you in this, I'll see you all in the discussion board.